Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you guys my haul that I got from the Drew Barrymore's Flower Collection line and I grabbed quite a few items that I thought was really nice. Um, I'm just like starting to get on, I jumped on the bandwagon way too late because I fell in love with it. It's so great. Um, it does meet up to the hype and plus the packaging is adorable. So first thing I'm going to show you guys is the Zoom In Ultimate Mascara and it is in black and this thing is so cool. Um, what it is, it's you can twist it to meet whatever your desire for your lashes. So this is number one and what it looks like. So the wand is pretty nice. I mean it looks like it has a lot of brushes to get into your lashes. But what is really neat is that you twist this right up here and it changes into a different style wand. As you guys can see it twisted a bit. And then you twist it again and it's even more like tighter looking. So I thought that was really neat. It does come in two shades I believe and this is just such an awesome mascara. And um, so yeah, I can't wait to try all this stuff. It's like, I feel like a kid in a candy store. But this thing is really neat for a mascara. Next thing that I have is the flower, sorry I rubbed off, but it's the liquid liner and it's supposed to be like 24 hours or something. But um, I got it in the black. The packaging is nice, it's just the wording, it sucks that it just came off already. But I really like it because it's a very stiff felt tip, as you guys can see. It just goes, it glides very nicely. I really like this liquid liner and I read reviews and they said it doesn't really budge which is really good. But as you guys can see it's not flimsy like a lot of drugstore liners. So this is a really good liner and plus it's very like fine at the tip so you can do like fine precision. Next few items that I have is the Flower Kiss Stick High Shine Lip Color and I like these because it's very nice and glossy. It's like it goes on very smoothly. I like the packaging as well. It looks very elegant. It has rose gold and then there's black. The only bad thing is that they don't engrave the title of the lipstick or anything. Or There's just some sticker but I peeled it off to open it. But I'm just going to do swatches for you guys. This one is the Ginger Lily. And this is what it looks like on. As you guys can see, it has a very nice shine and it just goes on very nicely. So I really like it. Next I have is the Rose Bud. Which looks like so. And the next one is Sweet Peony. Next I have the Lip Service Lip Butters and they are just, you know, lip butters. They don't really have that much of pigmentation but it's just nice as, you know, something, to, a little wash of color. The packaging itself is really nice as well and the colors are really nice but I'm just gonna, I'm really sorry I peeled the sticker off so I have to guess on the colors. I think this one is the Sheer Snapdragon. I believe this one is the Hot Honeysuckle which is this color on... And I want to say this one's maybe the Princess and the Peony. If you guys know it, you guys definitely can correct me. <laughs> and this one is called the Wispy Wisteria, which is like a very nice pink. I should have like wrote all the names of it on the bottom <laughs> or something. But um, next product that I have is their Perfection or Perfecting Primer. And it comes in a tube like this. It looks like their tinted moisturizers and their BB creams, which I have no luck finding BB cream ever. They never stock it up, which really sucks. But um, I did manage to get the primer. It looks like a clear kind of gel consistency. So this is what it looks like. And um, it glides on the skin very nicely. It looks very watery to me. So I'm not really sure if it's a pore minimizing primer, but it does go on the skin very nicely. Next product that I have is the Flower Winsome Rogue Sum Cream Blush. And this one is in the color Rose O Dendron. I believe so I wanted this one because it looks kind of a bronzy kind of color so I wanted to use this as a contour and the product in the back it gives like information like it doesn't test on animals and stuff but I wish they would just you know 
leave the name of the item instead of having it on the sticker where you're supposed to open the product, which really sucks because it's like that with almost all of the products. But um, nonetheless, the color for this is very nice. It goes on my skin very nicely, and it just you know, the color is very pretty. But for the price point, I believe it's seven to eight dollars, and it's really tiny, so I'm not really sure if I would purchase this again. But I just wanted to show you guys. Um, the colors that I've got. So the first one I have is the Forget Me Not. Next is the Peach Blossom. And the last one is the Pure Petunia. So I think these shades are very perfect for like the spring and summer. They're very cute like pinky tones and peach tones. So this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. And with cream blushes, I think like a little bit goes a long way. You just take a little bit at a time and just dab it on the apples of your cheeks. And it just, I don't know, it looks more very dewy looking to me and more youthful. So I've been trying to gravitate more to like creamier kind of products because it just, it goes with my skin better because I, I do have dry skin so I just think it just complements it better with cream blushes and bronzers versus like the powder so that's what it looks like with the warmer lighting but um, I really am happy with all my purchases it's just for the price point for some of the items it's kind of iffy and the packaging wise and the stickering wise but nonetheless it looks very fancy and high-end even the display for this was really fancy looking for drugstore makeup so I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul video and thanks for watching